another one of our tips videos. In this video we'll be talking about the Disney Springs Virgin Atlantic stroke Virgin Holidays customers exclusive check-in area uh, within the Disney Springs complex. Now it's situated just behind the Cirque du Soleil in which garage? The Parking Watermelon garage? Car Park. Watermelon Car Park. So basically it's nice and convenient for those on the morning of departure um, for you to simply drop off your bags um, get them weighed, get your boarding passes printed off um, and it's just a convenient service because obviously then you can enjoy the rest of your last day before you fly out. Now it does say that you have to be at the airport uh, at least 60 minutes before departure. We recommend you actually go a couple of hours before um, especially if you've got like a car to drop off mm. um, but on the actual Virgin website it does say um, at least 60 minutes. Yeah, that's obviously from a Virgin Atlantic point of view. Then, like Kate said, um, your car hire, if you've got one, of course, will actually say um, the designated time for drop off. Um, so you have to go by that because you can actually get fined. I think um, if it's late. In back, certain yeah. cases, if it's too late, yeah. And also, it's especially if you want to grab something to eat before you get on the flight, um, or if you want to have a little waltz around. I mean, um, the Orlando International Airport on the departure side, air side isn't huge, um, but it's still nice to have a little bit of time there anyway. Yeah, land side was bigger wasn't it, it's where the, um, the um, Disney st shop is, yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, <laughs> airport. That's airport, that's the one. Yeah. Um, but obviously um, those who watch the vlog, um, it's just similar to this video, um, where you actually said about the difficulty didn't you in navigating around the airport if you're a first timer. I think once you get used to it it's okay but um, it's also a good idea to allow a bit of extra time yeah. uh, for that. So that's the airport side. Yeah I mean that's why um, I think we found it extremely um, helpful that we were able to get rid of our bags so all we had to worry about when we got to the airport um, was the other bits like the dropping off the car and then getting through security, at least we didn't have to drag our bags around um, with us mm. because they were already at the airport technically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so basically, what they do then, just to go through the process, is you obviously you park at Watermelon Car Park. It's then um, just a couple of yards away. Um, depending on how, depending how busy park. it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what it is is that a, a couple of vans parked up with an actual static check-in there so it's not like you know they just wheel it in and then <laughs> wheel it away yeah. again at the end of the day it's actually a designated site um, so then you check in through the secure check-in it's obviously linked up to the Virgin Atlantic database so don't worry about um, things getting lost no. um, it's, it's all live tracked and whatnot um, so you check in you get your boarding passes printed off I think um we checked in for obviously the London Gatwick, but there was mm. also a Manchester and a Liverpool. Yeah, it's flight. Been, I think it's uh, any I, flights. I don't, know, I don't know if they do, they do Liverpool, but because oh. Virgin Atlantic don't. But um, yeah, oh, yeah, Glasgow I think was probably Glasgow, the one that yeah. you were thinking of. Um, yeah, so any Virgin Atlantic flight um, will be able to check in there. But um, they have got um, all the desks. I think they allow for. They ask you which flight you're on, um, so you don't even have to. Like I know in the UK airports, if you're flying. To certain destinations it has the destination above the desk but the these are only like little they're static but they're obviously i think they might be used by other airlines as well at some point yeah um but yeah you literally um tell them which flight you're on and then they've got all the information that pops up on their screen and then yeah they check you in for your flight depending on where you're heading to so it does go to the right flight and then um they weigh your cases just like they would at the airport, yeah. and then they'll load it onto a van, a secure van, where it then gets uh, transited straight to Orlando Airport. And if you're like me, a little bit of a worry wart, um, they actually put all of the luggage um, if on the, for the same flights on one van, so you're not getting um, everyone's bags put on whichever van filling that one up and then it, it, it's a mess for when they get to the airport there is a designated van for the designated flight um, I'm a little bit funny about this like that I like to make sure I know where everything's going um, I like to make sure I'm happy with everything and 
and if I'm happy with it then I'm sure everybody else would be happy because yeah. um, I do panic about these things and they do play on my mind all day long um, but they I could see other people every luggage um, a piece of luggage that I could see that was in the van had the London Gatwick um, luggage tag on it so I was quite happy to mm -hmm. know that each they had three different vans and depending on where your flight was going that van was designated for your flight mm. which is quite nice <laughs> I think you're worried like probably most people that it was just an official like um, you know just someone contracted out to take your luggage take off your luggage, you, yeah and whack then it, it not actually and then, be and then you never see it again ever <laughs> it's nothing no, like it's that not. it's Virgin Atlantic staff uh, well they're agents anyway they're approved yeah. agents um, just as much as it would be in an actual airport um, and then, like I said, there's a queue van that takes them all down and yeah. straight onto the plane. Yeah. You know, there's no, there's no messing. It obviously goes through uh, customs, but, um, you know, just as it would, as if you just dropped it on the conveyor. You do know it went through customs because, yet again, for the <laughs> second time that we've been, your luggage got investigated. I'm always and a little random <laughs> search and I get the note from the uh, The little note inside the, uh, yeah, the suitcase saying, <laughs> we've been in your luggage. Um, but this time, which was nice because we got proper TSA approved locks, it meant that they didn't break into Stephen's suitcase. It was, uh, they used their handy little keys. Oh. But last time, uh, you didn't have a lock left on your <laughs> suitcase, did you, when you got uh, it back? No, I think they did, but it obviously wasn't that good a lock. No, they obviously <laughs> managed to, to break in. With a screwdriver. <laughs> so, yeah, side note, side get note. a TSA lock <laughs> if you're going to America. <laughs> yeah, so. So yeah, it's it's very secure. Um, it's reassuring that it's all you know official Virgin, um, and it's it is well used, isn't it? There's, yeah. You know, there's quite a lot of people there. Um, it's just easy, and the the best part about it, which I enjoyed the other day, was just the fact that you can go into Disney. We we stayed in Disney Springs, yeah. but officially you can use the Disney Transport anywhere, or yeah. your own car, obviously, if you got on to just go anywhere within the resort. We actually waited until, we, we went to Disney Springs for half a day, one day, and then the other half a day on that day, just because we knew we were going to Disney Springs to do the check-in anyway, so we used that as our official Disney Springs second trip mm. to have a look around, and it was really nice, rather than kind of normally where you, on other holidays we've been on, your flight's in the sort of afternoon, late evening, and you... You, you've got to lug your luggage around everywhere and you just think, oh, I might as well just hang around at the airport. Whereas this this is the nice, convenient thing and good on Virgin for doing it because I don't know any other... I've never heard of any other airlines doing it. I mean, us using it this time is the first time we've ever done a service like this. Mm. Um, it's just the convenience of it, of being able to get rid of your luggage and then all you've got to do is haul around your hand luggage for the day. Yeah. Considering that our flight was not till 7 o'clock the, in the evening... We had we got there quite late on in the check in, um, but it meant that we still had a good sort of four or five hours to just kind of go around Disney Springs and enjoy the afternoon and enjoy the sunshine while we still could. Yeah. So uh, Disney Springs, then just for those who don't know, what sort of shops? Can I would expect? probably say they're more higher end shops. Yeah. You're sort of your quite high branded shops. Um, I don't think Disney tend to put any old. No. Primark <laughs> kind of shops in there. I Although there was a, a Uniglo, yeah, Uniglo um, which are a little store. bit cheaper. But yeah, you had Lego, you've got Uniglo, but then you've got your Sephora, your Lego stores, you've got your big Disney, uh, World of Disney shop, and then lots of little Disney shops in there as well. I mean, we found like an Art Deco type shop, mm. and we found some really cute little postcards that we bought some picture like some of some pictures of different Disney characters. I mean, I bought a nice Sully. Uh, Monsters Inc. one because that's my favourite <laughs> film. Um, but yeah, it's like a little Art Deco type shop. Um, so you've got lots of little Disney shops, but then you've got lots of branded shops. I mean, there was a Harley Davidson shop. Mm. Um, there was a Volcom for you kind of more surfer people out there like myself. <laughs> and uh, a Super Dry. Super Dry, they? nice big Super Dry shop. Yeah. And Sephora. And then lots of shops I'd never heard of, but they looked quite high end, I'd say. Um, Fancy, <laughs> but so there's the yeah. also the Disney. Um, what, what was that one called? Where all the fashion? I can't remember what it's called now. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop that in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's there's quite a lot of Disney shops, quite a lot of uh, well-known brands in there. Um, 
Lego is always the popular one, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and World of Disney is huge. So there are also a lot of restaurants, um, such as Chicken Guy. Um, a, you've got a... Um, oh my gosh, I'm going to forget what it's called now. Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, I was going to say that, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Um, they've even got, actually, which is another good thing to probably do on your... Um, if you're going to do like we did with your check-in in the morning, something to do in the afternoon, they had a bowling alley and a cinema there. Mm. So, you know, it's probably a good day to do that sort of thing because you've got a couple of hours to kill. If you've done Disney Springs another day, you can just use the facilities like that. Yeah. Um, or just go for a walk. They've got, we did it, you'll see in our vlogs of our Disney check-in um, day, we actually went for a nice walk along the lake and went round... Was it Saratoga Saratoga Springs? Springs? Yeah. 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 Um, and had a look all around there. So even if you just you don't want to do the shopping side, there's still plenty of other things to sort of use your time wisely doing, like mm. going for a nice walk and enjoying the sunshine before you come back to England. Yeah, <laughs> which is also good um, if you're thinking of uh, a resort that you want to stay at um, for your next holiday to Florida, because I'm sure if you've been once, you'll definitely want to go again. Um, there are also lots of... Uh, easy access to the other resorts that you can get to so yeah. if you've got a resort in mind that you want to have a look at on your last day say well, you know what's it like first hand experience have a physical look around it you know to help with the plans for your next trip I mean we, we had a look around Saratoga didn't we because uh, future trips that we were looking at one of those is possible I won't say too much um, but <laughs> yeah so we had a look around there just to see you know what that was like and it quite liked it, quite, it. yeah, really nice, and it? it's convenient. If we go with Virgin again, we just got to quickly get on a little boat across the lake, and we're there for Virgin <laughs> check-in. So, <How> convenient. <laughs> and then we we'll probably hang around on the resort for the rest of the day, is because uh, we we haven't on our vlogs that we did this time. You'll notice that we didn't do any resort hopping um, mm. because we just didn't have time. Um, we were a bit poorly as well, so that didn't mm. help. But you know, resort hopping is something that we would like to do on future trips. Um, so yeah, we probably wouldn't even hire a car next time if we were going to be doing no, just that. Use Disney just use yeah. the Disney Transport, yeah. Which Disney Springs, as you probably know, is well covered by Disney Transport. So the price of this service is a grand total of zero <laughs> for all Virgin customers. So if you're a Virgin customer, it's well worth using, isn't yeah. it? If, if I think, I believe there is a $10 pounds um charge if you're a virgin atlantic customer but didn't book with virgin holidays yeah um yes yeah, so if you're a virgin holiday customer it comes free with your package but if you're if you didn't book your holiday with virgin but still came on a virgin flight you can still use the service but it's only it's either 10 pounds or 10 dollars i mean double check on the virgin atlantic website mm -hmm. um but it's it's 10 pounds per person or ten dollars per person, um, which for that service I would I would recommend spending that money mm. because it just frees up your whole day, especially like us with the Virgin uh, the the trip home to Gatwick um, was so late in the day. Mm. You don't want to be whole, um, lugging your luggage around with you mm. <laughs> around Disney Springs or around the parks, um, and I wouldn't want to leave it in the car because our car wasn't big enough for us to hide our luggage in, and I'm again a worry what and if we'd left our luggage in the car all day and gone up to one of the parks i'd be worried that someone would break in and steal the <laughs> luggage because i'm like that <laughs> so the fact the fact that you use a service says it all really doesn't it <laughs> the fact that i actually agreed to use a service yeah. um and came out happy with the service um i was worrying the whole way home because i do um i kept going oh i wonder if our luggage will be there when we get home Oh, I wonder if it actually went on our flight. And it did. <laughs> I was overjoyed when I seen it on the uh, mm. the luggage belts uh, back at Gatwick. So but then you worry about luggage. I worry about everything. At the airport or I worried <laughs> about handing over Alithia's buggy to the guy at the where at the front of the um, what's it called? The, the where the bridge, bridge was, the air bridge <laughs> yeah. to the aeroplane where you give the guy your buggy to put down a chute to go on the aeroplane. I worried whether he was actually putting the buggy on the aeroplane. That was this literally is, right on the entrance this of the aeroplane. right there. So <laughs> this is how my mind works. Um, and I still use the service. Yeah. And I would, and I'd recommend it to anybody. Um, yeah. Side note, 
uh, we haven't mentioned it, is it's open from 8.15 in the morning and it closes at 1pm but they do rest, tell you to get there by 12.30 um, just to make sure that you're getting there before the desks close at 1 mm. um, but they, yeah, it's open from 8.15 in the morning um, I would probably, we went there, at, uh, we got there just before, just after midday time um, and it was nice and easy um, and we got through quite quickly um, but just bear in mind that if you're going earlier in the morning um, if you're an early riser, we're not. Um, <laughs> if you're an early riser, like a lot of people are, just bear in mind that there might be a few more queues, probably earlier in the morning. Oh. Um, but don't panic, because it's open till half twelve, one o'clock. Oh. Um, if you're like us and don't get up in the mornings, um, you can still get there and use it. That is confirmed on, if you've got the Version Atlantic app, which is always worth getting, um, if not, it's all available on the website. If you log in with your um, booking reference, um, you'll see whether or not you actually have the Disney Springs included in your holiday package, if you're a Virgin Holidays customer. Um, and obviously if you're a Virgin Atlantic customer, what sort of, whether it's included or how much you'd have to pay on that, well, I presume it would be all in that. Yeah. But uh, on there will be the details of when it's open to and from. Um, yeah, and how to use it. It does tell you where to. It tells you to go to the Cirque du Soleil um, tent. It's at the back of that. It doesn't tell you which car park. It is the Watermelon car park. Huh. Um, if you're using, we use Google Maps over there quite a lot. Um, as Stephen has the data to use it, so we thought we'd use and abuse it. Um, but yeah, so if you or if you're putting it into a sat nav that you might have with your car, you want to aim for the Watermelon car park. And that will take you right to it. Once you're in the car park, you pretty you'll, much see it You'll there. see it. You'll see the trucks. You'll see the lovely ladies in red. Um, <laughs> or the men, sorry. The <laughs> lovely ladies and the lovely men in red. Um, you can't miss it. And if you can't see that, you can definitely see the Cirque du Soleil building because it's absolutely huge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I think that's pretty much you, everything on that matter. If you think we missed anything... Um, uh, or you think you've got any advice to give, just pop it in the comments below um, so that uh, when everyone else reads the comments, um, they can also read up on anything that we might have missed. And if you're also planning your holiday but you want to know about certain things or ask, want to ask us a question about a certain something, um, we'll definitely look at putting up a video um, to help you about that because we're all about helping people, aren't we? Yeah. Get the best out of their holidays. Definitely. So, yeah, anything you want to know? Drop us a comment and we'll see what we can do. Yes. Thanks for watching. Don't Thank forget you. to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.